He was saying, Jesus worshipped the God. Jesus worshipped. He showed the worship of God. He submitted his will when he said independent will, going back to the point. He said, let it be not my will, but yours. Yeah. So it is the will of the Father. So Jesus needed the Father, needed the help of the Father. Jesus, Sorry, but I'm they... getting really like. <laughs> Please, brother, just me. I'm just not really used to it, so like I'm not comfortable sort of like with all the. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's just like it's a bit distracting. When yeah, it's a bit distracting. Yeah. I'm sort of like not listening anymore. Try, try to sort of like just uh, you know ignore that. Just ignore that. <laughs> I think it's a bit difficult for me to. Like, it's uh, it's on me. Sorry. Yeah, I know. I just don't feel comfortable with it. But, um, brother, she doesn't feel comfortable with that. Tell us no, just. I don't wanna. I know. I understand. No, no. What? I'm just. Like, I understand. Yeah, I'm here most yeah. weekends, but I'm not. I'm yeah, anyway. So anyway, just leave it. That's fine. And, well, at the end of the day, what we want, we wanted just to understand this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So going back to the point, yeah, I will give you that. So he needed the help of the father. So he he's not all powerful. Yeah. When someone needs help, that means not all powerful. He is ignorant about certain things. That means he's not all known. He doesn't have his own independent will. But it befits him that to be a prophet and a of God, as he said, I was sent by the Father. No problem. Yeah. Whoever loves the Father, loved God, loved, uh, anyone who truly loved God, as God, Allah, Allah has mentioned this in the Quran, if you truly love me, then follow me, Muhammad. Follow Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. You love Allah. That showing fulfilled the love of Allah means Allah in Arabic means the one God. Yeah. Then you have to follow the way and the guidance of Muhammad, peace be upon him. My point is, going back to the same concept, the main concept, the concept of the purpose of our existence. So that's why I understand. You said you came from Christian background, but the question is, if Islam makes sense to you, will you accept to be Muslim? Honestly, I don't think I would, just because... And even if it makes sense to you, you will not accept Islam? Yeah, I, Even if it makes sense to you. If it made sense to me, I personally would be in a difficult position to become Muslim because of my family background. I'm sure it's the same sort of if I were to ask you if you believe in Jesus or let me Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. You think the disciples of Jesus, they didn't have family background? Yeah, they did. I think they did, yeah. And do you think they prefer yeah. they prefer their family background or they, they prefer to submit to the to the will of God? Definitely submit to the will of God, yeah. So now here again, going back to the point, if something which is true, it doesn't matter the background of the person. So that's why it is you, it's not about the other people around you. It is you, it's your relation with God. It's you. Now, I understand all of us, we have family background. All of us, we have, we have challenges facing us. But we have now, we, we will be in a point to choose. Do we need to, to choose the truth? and to follow what God wants from us, or to choose our family and what, the, what our family say. What if your family background, we're not following the truth? What if, what if, what, 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 what if it was this, this is the case? What shall we do? Shall we prefer them over the will of God? You understand? So that's why those, the followers of the prophets and messengers of God, they didn't go with what their, the norm of their family. They submit their will to the will of God as soon as the truth came to them. So that's why I will ask you the question again. If the truth was, was with Islam, will you accept to be Muslim? Yes, you will accept, yeah? If, if I believed it was true. If you believe it's true. If you are convinced. Good. So if you are convinced. If you are convinced. So if I convince you now. Now. Yeah, I will try. Which like I as I tried with her before. No. Yeah. Okay. You're good apologies. Thank you. I, 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 I try to convey the message of God to the people. That's what I'm. I'm only servant of, of God. Now, uh, you see here, we were discussing. I assume that you came from Christian background, correct? Sister. Yeah. You are sisters. Yeah. Okay. So I spoke to her about that. She said, "I believe in Jesus to be God." Yes. Yeah. And then I said to her, "What do you mean by God?" She said, "Okay, He is God, and He is He has He share." as well he is similar to the father the jesus the, the son and the holy ghost and the father they are co-equal and similar to each other correct you believe this so if i prove to you from the bible that this is not the truth now at that point you need to accept that this is false if it's false then we have to find the truth 
Yeah. Now, when I when you say Jesus is when you say Jesus is similar to the Father. Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, I get you. Are they co-equal? Yeah, they are equal, When Jesus said, the only true God is the Father, what did he mean by this? That the idols, the, like the other gods that were being worshipped, are not gods. What does that make Jesus? When you say, when you say, when, you know, English language, English is not my first language, but I assume that is your first language. Yes. So, so when you, when you say the only true is this, meaning the other one are not true, correct? Correct. That's English. That's how English works. Yeah. And that's how... Language limits. I understand. I, no, no. It doesn't limit. When, when God is conveying his message to us, we'll be clear. When Jesus said, the only true God is the Father, what does that make Jesus? Does that make him God? He said, listen, no, he didn't say, no, one second. Listen, if he, he could say, me and the Father and the Holy Ghost, we are the only true God, then I accept if he said this. But he didn't say this. He said, the only true God is the Father. So that's one thing. What does that make him? God? No, he didn't say that. He said the only true God is the Father. The other, the other thing, you said they are co-equal, yeah? When you say they are co-equal, that means they share the same characteristics, correct? Yes. The, the, the main definition of God, all-powerful, yes. all-knowing, yeah. has independent will, has in the meaning no one influences his decision. Yeah? Who yeah. will do what he wish. Yeah, correct? Yes. Is the Father all powerful? Is Jesus all powerful? Okay. Do you know what means all powerful? Meaning doesn't need at least help from others, correct? Did Jesus need help from the Father? Yes. Is he all powerful now? Yeah. Did he need the help of the Father? He cried for that God's help. Good, good. No, he didn't say that. He did not say this. Jesus, you don't don't put word in the mouth of Jesus which he didn't say. He, when you say Jesus, all powerful, that means he's all powerful on earth or whatever. He is all powerful. When you say he is all powerful and he become now deficient in power, that means he is not all powerful, because the characteristics of divine is not seized from the divine. So we'll be always there. Otherwise, which? So can he cease to exist? No. So that's why the 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 idea is it doesn't. You know, you cannot seize the the you cannot seize the characteristics of the divine. The same thing. Is Jesus all knowing? Yes. Does he know everything? He sacrificed. Who? The God? The God sacrificed? Jesus sacrificed part of his divinity. Brother, they, they, they don't want. They don't prefer it. They don't prefer it. They don't prefer it. Just keep it. They don't prefer it. They don't want to be prefer it. That's right. It's okay, inshallah. Yeah? Sacrifice part of his divinity to become human. He, he did, what did he say that? I get you. Yeah, if he said so, we may accept. He didn't say that. mean that's not what happened. How you, you are assuming this happens? Just like you assume here in the UK, yeah. they assume there used to be dragon fl flying around. Okay. You understand? So that's why when you when you assume something, you cannot just make it as fact and believe in it. Believe it as it's fact. You are building your faith on vague arguments, which it has no basis. But what about when you would say that he is also God, like I am who I am? I am who I am. Again, I am who I am doesn't mean God. It doesn't mean this. All these so vague, these, it, it, it has to be otherwise because the clear statement for him, when he was all in relation to his all knowing, when he was asked about when is the hour, which is a clear question on all prophets and messengers of God being asked this question, what he answered? No one knows about the hour except the Father. Neither the Son, nor the Holy Ghost, nor the angels. Only The only one knows about the hour is the Father. What does that make him? Is he all-knowing? Yes? Yeah, is Jesus all-knowing? Yes, but he said he doesn't know about the hour. He's ignorant about the hour. 
Where is that? I don't know. You see, when you say he gave up, I'm where sure is that? There is. I'm sure it is. It is. Listen, place. listen. It's listen. It's not biblical. <laughs> it's a Christian thing, yeah. but it's not biblical. Yeah. So, and there is difference. So, the, they they don't. There is nothing it indicate that Jesus has said he has gave up or whatever. Yeah. He didn't do that. Thirdly. Does he have an independent will, Jesus? Yes? What did he say? Let it be not my will, but yours. Does he have independent will? No, again, it comes back to that theology. But you, then you're like, it's not visible, but I don't, I don't. You see here, again, when there is something vague, yeah. we shouldn't build our faith on something vague. We have to build our faith on something profound. Yeah. Otherwise, we're going to be believing everything. Yeah, it's not an argument. This is fact. I'm talking about fact and real fact. Yeah. Where Islam, the message of Islam is very clear. There is only one God where they worship. Nothing else. And his name is, we know him Allah, which means the one God. That's what it means in Arabic. And as well to follow the guidance and of the prophets and messengers of God. This is as simple as that. Meaning whatever the messengers of God has said to us, we follow them. We, we believe in Jesus. And by, by the way, Jesus said about himself. Yes. He was sent by God. He even It's not his will even to be sent. He was sent. Meaning he doesn't have a will to be sent. He was sent. He, he doesn't have his will to be killed on the cross. He said, let take this cup away from me. Uh, but, let, but let it be not my will but yours. So means he, if, if according to him, he doesn't want. But yet, God has saved him. And as we believe as Muslims, God has saved him from this. So all of these ambiguous things, don't you think Islam make more sense than Christianity? I'm not fully convinced. I will look into that theology, yeah. sure, but I'm not fully convinced. But I, I you I make will, a great point. Listen, there is more than that. Yeah. What about if there are some, some errors in the Bible? Significant errors in the Bible. Yeah. Okay. And listen, sister, I thought it's the other one. I don't know what's your name, by the way. Erin, sorry. Uh, what's your name? Erin. Erin. And your name? Holly. Holly. Okay, so I, don't know, Holly, I will, will give you some kind of, uh, if there is a significant error in the Bible, significant error, and the Quran got it right, will you accept that the Quran will be the word of God, not the Bible? I mean... Uh, oh, example, I'm not, uh, listen, something, listen, what I'm saying to you, a fact, that's beyond any doubt. I'm not bringing you something, I'm, I'm taking, I'm bringing you facts now. Okay, let's, okay, I'll, I'll Will you accept? So, if it's word of God, it has to be no mistakes, correct? Uh, yes. Yes? If, if the Bible is word of God, it has to have no mistakes, correct? Uh, depends what you mean Can, by mistake. Historical mistakes. Like, like what? Uh, which is opposite to fact. Uh, for example, Again, for example, if I said to you this tree, this is not a tree, this is uh, this is a monkey, yeah, and then there's that's like objective mistakes, and then there's like things that are more like subjective and. Oh well, no, 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 objective one. An, an objective mistake. Okay, go on. What is it? Okay, now we'll, now we'll we'll talk about it now in a minute. Yeah. Uh, I was meant to come and get her to leave. Yeah, yeah. By the way, just, so I, just I, really I will yeah I will do it quickly. But try to focus with me, please. I just have one question. Try to focus. Let me give this example. Let me give this example and I will receive your question. Okay, go for it. Just can you focus with me? Yeah. It's important to focus. Now, for example, if the Bible is the word of God, God will will not make mistakes to the people, will not make error, error mistake. Will not. God made a mistake when he breathed the word. Good, good. That's fine. So God revealed the, the Bible or the Old Testament and the New Testament. Fine. According to you. Then after that, we put the Bible into, you know, into test to see if there is some errors in the Bible or if there, if there are facts in the Bible. Yeah. And the Bible in the, in, the, in the history, it was the only source of history about ancient Egypt history. It was the only source. We had no source except the Bible. For Old Testament and New Testament. Yeah, that was the only source. So you'll find the Bible talking about the story of Pharaoh and Moses, Moses and Pharaoh, correct? Yeah? I'm not sure. Read the uh, Bible. I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah. Anyway, in the Old Testament, the Bible talking about the story of Pharaoh yeah, yeah, yeah. and Moses. Yeah. yeah. 
And as well, the Bible as well addressing Joseph, you know Joseph. And Joseph was before Moses, around maybe a thousand or something years. You know, wait, wait time before. Yeah. Yeah? But it's okay, it's okay. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So the story, the story of Joseph, and then what the what the Bible addressed the king at the time of Joseph addressing him as Pharaoh. So Pharaoh and Joseph, Joseph and Pharaoh, and then when Moses came, Pharaoh and Moses, Moses and Pharaoh, and that's it. When the Quran fourteen hundred years ago were revealed. The Quran, you will find the story of Moses scattered around the Quran. And all the time we'll talk about Moses and Pharaoh, Pharaoh and Moses, Moses and Aaron and Pharaoh, etc. But there is one chapter in the Quran, just one chapter in the Quran, talking about the story of Joseph. And then the tone changed. Even though Joseph came before Moses, but yet that chapter talking about the king. See? King and Joseph. Joseph and a king. So in the past, Christian people used to come to us Muslims, used to say, your Quran has got it wrong. Why they don't say Pharaoh here? It's Pharaoh. The king of Egypt is Pharaoh. The king of Egypt always was Pharaoh. We said, if it came from God, we believe it. No problem. Until, and I assume you're both English, yeah? Correct? Until an Englishman from this country traveled to Egypt and studied, have you heard about the risotto stone? Yeah? Basically, they found the stone which is dismantled the, the old hieroglyphic language into old Greek language to Latin. Yeah? And then they, they start, start knowing what was the wording which is written on the pyramids, in the temples, in the, you know, in the scrolls that they found. Yeah? And then they found something significant. They said, that's not us, we're talking about even could be atheist historian, Christian historian. They said, it is impossible for the king at the time of Joseph to be called Pharaoh. Impossible. It cannot be. Why? Because at that time, Hexos, which is the Arsemitic Mediterranean race, which reigned and they ruled, they took over Egypt. And they ruled Egypt. And they never used title Pharaoh. In fact, later on, when the ancient Egyptian took over back from them, took over Egypt back from them, they introduced the title Pharaoh. And then, during the time of Moses, the title Pharaoh was there. Meaning, it is a historical error in the Bible to say the king at the time of Joseph to be called as Pharaoh. And actually, just like to say now, King Charles III is the Caesar of England. Don't laugh. What's, what's Caesar? What's this? He's king. Why are you call this? It's exactly, exactly the same thing. Even during the kings here of this country, they ruled Egypt, by the way, sometime during colonization. So they were kings. But they still addressed as kings. They never addressed to be, you know, pharaohs of Egypt. Yeah. But it was a direct train, not indirect like colonizers. It was a direct train of these Hexos who ruled Egypt. They were there, and they never used the title Pharaoh. They used title kings. So the question is to you, who got it right? The Quran or the Bible? I think that would be impossible to answer without more research. I think we no, no, no. Listen, serious. just you could um, Google that and then you will see what I'm saying now. Okay, yeah. Literally, it is actually now, if you go, if you say, if you say now, the king at the time of Joseph was Pharaoh, the historian will laugh at you. They will laugh at you, just like you laughed now when I said Charles yeah. is the Caesar. Yeah, 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 sure. yeah, just like when you when you laughed now when you said King Charles III is the Caesar, of, yeah. you laughed now. The same thing, yeah. you called someone Pharaoh who wasn't a Pharaoh. It was a king. Yeah. Quran got it right, and the Bible got it wrong. Now, according to this historical error, 
Will you accept? It's fairly possible for there to be a story about Elvis. I mean, I know there's one in the story of the birth of Jesus who plans in two books of the Bible. There's um, a version and a third version. They talk about, that one talks about Herod being king and one doesn't mention it at all. And then they kind of talk about... So there are errors. So the point is... I think it's possible to be historical the, it's po errors. Yeah, like, yeah, the point is that means if it's a word of God, it shouldn't have errors. If it's the word of God, again, going back to the point, is God all-knowing? You said yes. Yeah. Okay, so. yeah. If God is all-knowing, that means you don't make errors. So now, I think, is, is, that, is that your relatives also? Oh. So. Do you want to make your point? No, I want to make your point. Okay. Okay. So anyway, if you are here next week. We live far away. Yeah, we don't live here. Where, where do you live? Far away. Where far? Uh, Birmingham. Birmingham? Yeah. I assume you are surrounded with many Muslims there. <laughs> Everyone I work with is Muslim, so I work for the NHS, so all the doctors. My, my advice to you to read more about Islam, and if you wish, I could give you some Qurans. Yeah? Oh, we have that. We have that. We have a lot of Qurans. Our dad's a pastor. And yeah? Probably have Your dad's a pastor? Yeah. Yeah, he's very interested in Yeah, so he studied okay. religion. You sure? Yeah, you yeah, want to have it? We have some. Something to read on the way. Pardon? Something to read on the way. Okay, I think we've said much. I know. No problem. No problem. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I wish you all the best. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye.